it's wonderful this life isn't it in so many ways and so complicated in others you know so much suffering and pain and difficulty and awkwardness and you know it's amazing being a human being don't you find the complexity the paradox of it anyway one of the things we most struggle with of course as human beings is emotions emotions and people call them energy and motion and all sorts of things like that to try and make them simpler than they are and, and making them simple is a good thing you know, because they are in essence there are mammalian inheritance they're the part of our biology that unites us in tribes and packs and families binds us together and tells us who we are at a deep kind of kinesthetic level yeah, who we are at a deep kinesthetic level in terms of the community which we belong to and, that, and that's, you know, you know are, we, are, we, are we in, are we out? How much are we in, how much are we out? What's my relationship with this person, you know? And all these emotions that rise up, which are things like fear and disgust and anger and joy and peace and jealousy and envy, all these different things that rise up are all about relationship. They're all about relationship. Um, you know, some, some people think they've got relationships sorted. It kind of amuses me, really. Um, I don't think there's any such thing because relationship is always new. Each moment is always new. And it's in this, this current moment that our relational capacities really show themselves in this relationship, in this moment, how we are in this. Anyway, what do we do with these emotions? Well, what we have to learn to do with them is to understand the differences so we can, we can tell that fear is different from disgust and disgust is different from jealousy and jealousy is different from envy and envy is different from anger yeah and, and rather than being a blur of stuff and think about emotions in the moment primary emotions they're called yeah is they last about 90 seconds to about eight minutes something around about that kind of time they're a flow from about 90 seconds nine yeah, 90 seconds to about eight minutes roughly yeah so they rise and they have this process and then they fall off again and they're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah? So it's like that. So secondary emotions are ones that we've logged into the system. We've somaticized them. We've bogged them down. They've become, it's like emotional grooves or habits almost. They're, they're often called secondary emotions. And they're the ones that dominate relationship actually in many ways because they're the ones we're not comfortable with, the ones that come up as habits, the ones, you know, those old sticky things from often from childhood. And those are the ones that people go to therapists for and try and work out in different ways. Either way, you've got to be able to feel them fully. You've got to see them, identify them, feel them fully and let them flow. Here comes anger. And it's gone. And the difference between, the difference between feeling them and expressing them is feeling them is just they're inside of you. Yeah? Expressing them is you're speaking them, either to yourself or someone else. I am feeling, there is an angry feeling, and you can own it. I am angry. I am feeling very angry right now. You can create a little bit of distance with the feeling. There is anger moving through this being. There's anger in this body. I'm not quite sure what it's about, but there it is. Here it is. Yeah, and You can express it. And then another thing, of course, to do is what really gets really messy is people acting it out where they spit it out at other people, <coughs> you know? <coughs> and they vomit all over each other. <coughs> and that usually causes complexities. So we've got, these, we've got these capacities, we fully feel them. And the idea with emotional intelligence is simply you let them flow. You feel them and you let them flow. You don't have to express them. You can if you want to. Some people are big on expression, they think you've got to express everything, and they come to you sound like feeling junkies, you know. Oh, my feelings, I've got to share my feelings. You know, I'm taking the piss here, but there's a little bit of that going on. You know, feeling junkies. Feelings are feelings. They're mammalian biology. Yeah, they're great. They're wonderful. Yeah, and they're just feelings. So we can feel, we feel them fully. We can express them. And what they're aiming to do is not to act them out into the world. Because when you act them out into the world, they get so messy, life gets terribly messy. Yeah? Anyway, a little bit of a few words on feelings, emotions, energy in motion. And they are energy information in the body. 
their energy information about the current nature of, the, of, of this organism's perception about the state of relationship. Yeah, that's it. So enjoy your emotions. Really enjoy them all. Enjoy feeling them and get comfortable feeling them. Get comfortable feeling all of them, the, all of them. Yeah, get really comfortable with them. Get really happy with them. Let them flow. Feel them begin, feel them rise and feel them fall. They're great and aim as best as possible not to act them out. And a really good thing to do if you do act them out is vomit them over other people and then, you know, speak to them for more unpleasant ones, won't you? Yeah. Apologize, say I'm sorry. It's really simple, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let my anger slip out all over the place there. I was, I was being unaware and unkind and I'll try not to do that again. 